Greetings, I am No Talent Red Mage, and I am choking down some aspirin right now. Why am I choking down aspirin, you may ask? I am playing X-Men for Game Gear. That's why. Let me be entirely upfront. Very rarely does a game soundtrack make me want to stab myself in the ear with a sharpened pencil, but this inhumane atrocity of a soundtrack would make me commit ear harikari in a second. I would rather sit through a Justin Bieber concert, where the entire crowd was clones of Justin Bieber's that sang along, than ever subject myself to what I can only describe as bad techno produced from Satan's asshole. If ever a game was worth muting, this would be it. Nails on a chalkboard, uh, sound aside. It's kind of a droll platformer. Sure, you get the selection of various X-Men, but you have to get, you know, them all back. You start the game with two at a time. In this case, Wolverine and Cyclops. The rest you need to rescue yourself. You do, however, get a kind of stage select-ish to allow you to save certain X-Men in differing orders, but the problems with the game become incredibly apparent early on. Firstly, enemies barely react to you hitting them. More often than not, just moving through your attacks to make contact and cause damage. Also, there is falling damage in a platform game. Can anyone in the crowd name a platformer, platformer where falling damage is a good idea? I'll give you a moment to think about it. If you answered none, then congratulations, you know basic game design. If you answered Busby the Cat, then I have some prime motion front property to sell you on Neptune. Also, picking the wrong X-Men can make some stages, and in some cases bosses, nearly impossible to beat. It becomes something of a Russian roulette when you pick your X-Men for the stage. If you pick the wrong one, it spikes the difficulty and in some cases makes said stage nearly impossible to complete. Also, killing your X-Men. Also, you start the game with only Wolverine and Cyclops, as I said before, and if they both die, it's game over. It's essentially like a poorly thought out idea stolen straight out of Mega Man, but imp implemented in such a way that Enron could have handled it better. Aside from what is a very bland platform with some ugly sprite and stage design, it didn't, also didn't really go through any kind of Q&A as certain X-Men are incredibly overpowered in certain situations. Wolverine, for example, can bring his claws out, never use them, and randomly cheese regenerate life. There are stages where Rogue can fly, just fly over every obstacle and even cheese the boss this way. Cyclops can do the same on some bosses where he could just pew pew them to death and never get touched. I suppose if you play this game muted, it's much more tolerable experience and probably at least worth a look. Just do yourself a solid and never ever turn the sound back on when playing this game. Trust me, it would be less painful to listen to boy bands for six years straight than 20 seconds of this game's so-called music. I am No Talent Red Page and I've been playing Ear Rape Simulator. I'll see you next time.